play by play for the actual test day where I visualized the space that I was going to be in the time that I was going to be in that space and then my different reactions under the um, under the different circumstances that could arise so one of the narratives I think I wrote this in one of my study skills uh, okay let's say I don't know what time your test is So let's say my test is at yeah. oh, like 9 a.m. Okay, 9 a.m. Where are you going to take it? Uh, in my room. Okay, 9 a.m. on Monday the uh, June first. Okay, so okay, so it's Monday, 9 a.m. Uh, June first. I'm in my room, and I would actually probably pr project five, 10 minutes beforehand. I have my uh, pen set up. I have my table ready. My light is on. The night before I went to bed early, like I'm literally saying all of the stuff that's going to happen, right? I woke up early this morning. I got a good meal. I'm relaxed. I've already checked and packed my bag. I have water near me. I'm getting ready and I'm breathing. So I'm going to take my deep breath and I'm going to get into my relaxed state. Okay, now it's, that was at 8.50. Now it's 9 a.m. I'm ready to start. Teacher says start. I open the test. The first thing that I do is put my name on the test. I'm super relaxed. I put my number on it. I read the front page. And then before I go through, like literally I'm talking through this, right? Before I actually answer a single problem, I look at every problem on the test and make sure that I have all the problems. After I've read every problem, the first thing that I do is decide the easiest problem. And then I try it. Oh my God, look at that. I'm fucking able to solve it because I've studied really hard. So a positive affirmation. Then I go to the second easiest problem on the test. Look at this. I'm, I'm rolling. I'm feeling good. I'm staying relaxed. Now I go to the third easiest problem. Oh my God, I'm stuck. I can see, I, I think I know the answer to this problem, but I'm stuck and I'm not sure. At this point, I take a deep breath and I know I'm going to be able to solve it. And in fact, I make sure to mark that problem and I'm going to move on. I go on to the fourth problem. Hey, I'm doing well, I, I use my notes, I use my studying and I'm able to do this. And oh my God, while I'm working on the fourth problem, a thought comes into my mind and I'm now able to go back and solve the third problem. So I finish my solution to the fourth problem, I go back and I solve the third problem. The whole time I'm actually running through the time frame. I'm using my studies, I've worked hard. You know, I get to that fifth problem and I am stuck. In this case, I'm going to go finish all the other problems on the test. I come back. I still don't know the answer. I'm going to write as much as I can, starting with what I know and George Polya's how to solve it. You know what? At the end of this test, I didn't finish that, but I wrote as much as I could. And during my prep work, I did everything that I needed to do to prepare. Now that I'm getting ready to submit, I do a final check. I've given myself time to do it. And then I submit my exam. And so like in the practice, in the narrative of that performance, I've actually run through three different scenarios, right? I know how to do it and I stay focused. I get stuck. I go on and I come back and I solve it. I get stuck and I'm not able to solve it. But in that moment, I do as much as I can to address that problem using George Polya's and I'm balancing all the time frame. And so in that, what's happening is not only am I associating the, the relaxation with that process because I'm actually doing that, but when it comes time for the test, when I get hijacked, instead of having to think, what should I do now? I already have a mental blueprint of what I'm supposed to do. And that blueprint was set in non, um, non-threatening scenarios and it was practiced. So like by the time I got to that prelim, I had done that visualization for probably 75 days in a row three times a day right yeah guess what happened when i got to the prelim guess how many problems i wasn't able to solve like two of them but when it happened instead of going to the narrative oh my god i'm gonna fucking fail i just literally i was like okay i'm gonna put those off to the end finish everything else come back to the problems write as much as i can about them i've done the best that i can do sign off right and so one of the things that I, I might suggest as you're getting ready for your next, as you're getting ready for this test, maybe we'll start with twice a day. And it doesn't, I, I don't know, like whatever experience you had in, in, um, in wrestling, maybe you use that experience, but like twice a day in addition to, and use a timer too, because like, you know, I would literally fucking four minute timer for relaxation, three minute timer for visual. 
in your visualization, so seven minutes at the start of the day, seven minutes at the end of the day, in the visualization, run through what it's going to feel like, the, what time is it, where are you, put yourself physically in that sp space, and then talk yourself through in a positive format, and that's where you might want to write it down, what the test is going to go like, and project positively. Like, think about what it is that you want to have happen, even when shit hits the fan, and then say that out loud in that context. You think you can do that between now and Monday? Yeah. Okay. So Morning here's and, and night, yeah. Remember this one? Talent code? It ends up that that process actually replicates myelination between nerve cells. Like they have done fucking, yeah, <laughs> fuck. oh. they've done neuroscience um, studies on people that visualize. And I forget that I, at some point I haven't done those deep readings yet, but like when people visualized, it was a fucking equivalent to the actual muscles firing. So like they were doing pianists. And so they would have the pianist do this visualization and it ended up that the brain activity that happened during the targeted visualization was pretty much identical to the brain activity that happened when they were actually fucking playing that, the, the, the thing. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So like that's, that's kind of the powerful thing in the sense that like this has been replicated by science. It's not some folk, like they're, they're, they've actually checked this. That's one of the reasons that I think it's really important for that, but think about what that would do for you one in the leading up to it as you get hijacked from those negative motions to have a what you might call like a, a proactive scheduled positive framing on a day-to-day -day basis that you're doing religiously right and i would actually encourage you to do this on non-test weeks right yeah. yeah and then number two when you get stuck in the test you already have a pathway that you've overwritten and that's what I was saying, like, instead of, do you, do you see the replacement of the old habit with the new habit? This is not, don't have these old thoughts. This is literally in replacement of these old thoughts, which are really reactive, right? You have the threat coming in and then you fucking react to the threat. Replace that reaction with a proactive scheduled uh, secondary narrative that is under your control and reflects your circumstances. And if you do that habitually, what ends up happening is you will reprogram your brain and it will be easy. Right now, it's way easier for you, Steve, to fall into that old one because how many years of practice have you had in that? Six. Yeah. And so, Five, and you're, trying to, you're trying, you're literally trying to not fall into that, but you've had six years of practice developing that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to not fall into something that you've done for six years. Instead, What's going to happen is like you, you, you'll slowly replace that old one with this new one. And then eventually guess what's going to happen. That'll be the new habit. You won't even recognize that the old one oh. used to be there. You may like, there may oh. be some memory of it eventually, but like you will, if you do this enough with enough consistency, you will replace completely that habit. And that narrative will empower not only the relaxation and the performance, but yeah, like 